Hello everyone, I'm going to read you all this story, it is called The Rooster, I will not be quiet. Let's begin my story. Once there was a village, where the streets rang with songs from morning till night. Dogs bayed, mothers crooned, engines hummed, fountains warbled, and everybody sang in the shower. <clears throat> Everyone and everything had a song to sing. This made the village of the Paz a very noisy place. It was hard to hear. It was hard to sleep. It was hard to think. So no one knew what to do. So they fired the mayor. Now they were a very noisy village without a mayor. So they held an election. Only Don Pepe promised peace and quiet. He won by a landslide. The next day, a very polite law appeared in the village square. No sing, no loud singing in public, por favor. Things were getting better already. But more laws soon followed. No loud singing at home. No loud singing. No singing. Basta, quiet already. Until finally. The noisy village of La Paz was silent as a tomb. Even the tea kettles were afraid to whistle. Some people left the village singing loudly. Others stayed behind and learned to hum. The rest were just grateful to have a good night's sleep. For crying out loud. Adios. Seven very quiet years passed. Then one evening, a saucy gallito and his family wandered into the village and roosted in a fragrant mango tree. When the little rooster awoke the next morning, he did what roosters were born to do. He sang, As his rotten luck would have it, the mango tree grew beneath the cranky mayor's window. Uh oh. You there, Ranston Pepe. No singing. It is the law. Yeah. 
That is a silly law, said a merry angel. Smell this sweet mango tree. How can I keep from singing? <gasps> then I'll chop down that stinky tree. <laughs> Don't Pepe. Will you sing then? The plucky gallito shrugged. I may sing a less cheerful song, but I will sing, and he did. It is a key! Oh, thank you. Snap, Don Pepe. You have no tree, remember? I have no tree, said Agarito. But I have my hand and chicks. How can I keep from singing? Will you sing if I throw you in a cage alone? Threatened Don Pepe. I may sing a longer song, said the Stubborganito, but I will sing, and he did. <laughs> Why are you singing now? Wow, Don Pepe, you have no hand and chicks. No hand and chicks, the gallito sighed, but I still have corn to eat. How can I keep from sinking? And if you have no more corn, asked the mayor. I may sing a hungrier song, said a headstrong angel, but I will sing that he did. Aren't you hungry, you crazy bird? Well done, baby. Lara, of course, said the gallito, but if the sun can still shine despite this world's troubles, how can I keep from sinking? And have you never seen the sun again? Snarl, don't fit the mayor, and he ran for a blanket to cover the rooster's cage. And they sing a darker song. The brave guy to call after him, but I will sing, and he did. <laughs> As the little song echoed down the soundless streets of the bus, it stirred. An all familiar longing for a time when everyone and everything had a song to sing. Not so with Don Pepe. Singing gave him indigestion. <laughs> now that's funny. The next day, Don Pepe stumbled out to the yard in his nightshirt. He tore away the blanket and pleaded. You have no tree to roast in, no hen and chicks to comfort you, no ring to fill your belly, no sun to drive away the shadows. Why, oh why are you still singing? Promise to stop, and I will set you free. Okay. 
one by one, a quiet crowd began to gather in Don Pepe's yard. I sing for those who dare not to sing or have forgotten hell, said an angel. If I must sing for them as well, senor, how can I keep from singing? And if I have you made into soup, the mayor thundered, I suppose you will still sing if you are dead. Oh. The entire village held its breath, waiting for the Gallitos' reply. Yeah, Rooster sing no songs, he said. Ha! Huh, cried Don Pepe. Sure, he had one. But he saw his mother, then one noisy little rooster, and stronger than one bully of a mare, said the And it, it will never die so long as there is someone to sing it. And there was. Adios, Once again, there was a village where the streets rang with songs from morning till night. This made for a very noisy place to live, and that is just the way everyone liked it. The end. Now, I chose this story book is because it reminds me of from a trip that I went to Mexico and a small village. But next to the village, there was a city, and um, I forgot the name. What I forgot the name of the city, but um, there was a lot of people playing music. You know, bands, different bands of in the middle of the street. And I see people dancing, hear some people singing, and I see some kids running around and playing. And it was new for me, and I really liked it because that is the culture of and, um, that the city had. And the village had in Mexico. And it was really unique. <laughs> and I see a lot of horses dancing when they're when they're when the band is playing music. I see cowboys and round their horses and dancing and that was really really unique. And I really enjoyed it so much. That's why I want to go again, probably next year, or probably this year, I think in the winter, because it's really unique. It's really peaceful, and I learned a lot more from Mexico. The music, the people, the culture, everything. Now, let me show you guys my little friends. This is Tiga. Hello, everyone. And this is Doggy. Hello, everybody. So tell me, tell me something, Doggy. And you too, take them. What do you guys learn from the story? Well, I like the guy, the Gallito singing, singing every time. And that's what the village was missing, is music, because that's how it used to be. 
So he was singing, singing, getting the the old cranking mare to Pepe angry. What about you, Tigan? Well, my favorite for story is when, when, well, Don Pepe was <laughs> in his nightshirt. He looked really funny. It looked like he was wearing a dress. But also, I like the way that he left out of the village. For well, good. Man, what's really your name about the story is that the gallito was fighting for life, for freedom. And for everyone who do not have a voice to speak, he used his voice so everyone could hear him sing. And yes, and that's how the village was. Lots of music, lots of dancing, lots of sound, and lots of fun. And it was a seven long years of quietness. That's because Don Pepe, well, is a stinky mare. <laughs> stinky mare. Well, sometimes you could be cranky, but always remember, just be yourself. Just like the gallito, the rooster, he was be himself. Yes, indeed. He was a strong rooster! And rooster, what do roosters do, doggy, when they wake up in the morning? They sing! cock a doo doo cock a doo 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 Well now, is it morning or is it night right now? It's time to cock a doo doo <laughs> Good night, everyone! Good night! Hmm. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the story, and sorry for my absence. For my absence, um... Not doing story time. It's because I had to uh, take a, a little break. But tomorrow, I'll you want I'll keep trying to do some more story time. Okay, everyone. I love you all. Stay safe and good night.